If The Sims 4 gives us anything, it's, well, stuff. As of now, The Sims 4 has 18 stuff packs and now free kits. While I love core gameplay improvements, this video is actually just a fun follow-up to one I made last year where I gave my personal wish list for items I wanted to see in 2020. Spoiler alert, only a couple of those items came and most of them are still pending. But this year, I decided to ask Twitter of some items they'd love to see come to their Sims game. From a little frivolous to wanting items offering just a little bit of gameplay, here's what Sims Twitter wants to see come to The Sims 4 for build, buy, and objects in 2021. Before we go ahead and get started though, my name is Simmer Erin. I cover Sims 4 news, speculation, info videos, as well as Paralyze. And my question for you today is, what of these items would you like to see come to your Sims game? Do you agree or disagree with any of them? And what is something that was not mentioned that you would like to come? Again, we are just focusing on items here. So we're going to break this down in just to a couple different categories of things that people wanted to see. The first category is small kitchen appliances. I hate to say it, but I could totally see the Sims team taking advantage of something like this and making some kits for small kitchen appliances. Yes, I did say kits. I would prefer it all in one kit if there's going to be kits at all. You know my personal opinions on that but I could see them doing several kits of small kitchen appliances. So here's what people wanted for their kitchens. An electric tea kettle, a slow cooker, a pizza oven, a blender, an air fryer, a salad maker, a toaster, a canning station, and sort of novelty items such as cotton candy machines and ice cone machines. Of all these, I would say I would be the least excited for cotton candy and ice cone machines, while it sounds really nice and cool, no pun intended, in theory, we all know that the ice cream machine from Cool Kitchen Stuff wasn't all it panned out to be. Sims get really obsessed with it, and it can be just downright annoying in my opinion. And some people have also complained about the popcorn machine from Movie Hangout Day stuff. So again, while I think that cotton candy and ice cone machines could be fun, even as like a food stall item, I'm not sure that would be my top priority. I do know so many people, including Iron Seagull, really love the idea of having a toaster in The Sims. And honestly, this is just something where my brain has never gone because I tend to just think about core gameplay and I never thought of it, but it is kind of weird that a Sims game has never had a toaster. I do think it also would be kind of cool to just have a different item like an air fryer just to do something a little bit different. And an electric tea kettle, I admit, I am American. We don't typically use electric tea kettles very much. In fact, the other day on Twitter, someone said, but if you don't use an electric tea kettle, how do you make your tea? Well, number one, Americans are very coffee obsessed and some of us do drink tea, myself included. Secondly, though, we use this wonderful thing called the microwave. So that kind of cracked me up. But of all these, I think that I would like a toaster the most and also an air fryer would be cool. And do we have a blender? Because if we don't have a blender, I think that's a little bit weird. Moving on into the next category is outdoor activities. And I would love so many more out outdoor activities myself. These items could give some added gameplay. Again, not a replacement for a full pack. I wish there was a full pack for some of these things. And I kind of wish that some of our past packs for outdoor stuff, we had outdoor retreat, we had backyard patio stuff or whatever the heck it's called, backyard yard stuff, perfect patio stuff. I'm getting them all mixed up in my head. We had a lot of chances for some more outdoor activities, but I digress. Here's what people wanted. Lawn darts, skateboards, scooters, hopscotch, paintball, laser tag, football, baseball, or other things like that where you can just play around in the yard or play catch. Trampolines, hammocks, a tree house like they had in Sims Regenerations, the best pack ever in my mind, a small telescope instead of the mega giant one that we currently have, strollers, assuming that we could actually take our object babies out or they ever update those babies, Farm-related things as well was also a popular request, which I will get into that in a minute, and also cars. So going through the smaller items on this list, first of all, I think that lawn darts would be really fun. I think that anything like skateboards or scooters or skating could give all age groups really more to do. I also think that just play yard, playground stuff, we need more things for our kids and toddlers. I've said it again and again. And I would be so down for something like paintball or laser tag, which I would argue is kind of getting out of the category of just objects, but we'll allow it. 
Imagine having a themed birthday party where you go play paintball or laser tag. Maybe that's a super American thing. You guys can let me know in the comments below. Sounds really cool to me. I also find it really, really strange that we don't have a trampoline. I remember in the Sims 3, I used to use the trampoline all the time. Unfortunately, with some varying results, I once cheated my Sims needs in Sims 3 with the trampoline and they were very obsessive and would never get off it, but still think it would be a great addition. Now, there's going to be a lot of discussion about cars and farm related objects, so I kind of want to do that in another video. I'm just going to say really quickly, cars, people are saying you could use it as a fixer upper, mechanical, have some hobbies related to it, whether or not it was functional or not. Seriously, some people just wanted a car even to mess around with. And then farm related stuff, obviously there's a lot of people who want a full out farming pack, but I definitely could see them doing it as objects as they did in the Sims 3 store, such as chicken coops, duck ponds, anything like that. So it kind of works more as an object rather than a full scale animal. Again, we'll cover both those in another video. Just let me know in the comments below if you would like to hear my thoughts and opinions on that. Moving on into the next category, we have indoor activities. So there aren't a whole lot here, but I think in general people just as you can see, want more activities. And so they're even looking to how items, even frivolous seeming items could give us some more gameplay, which shows just how desperate we are as a community. One thing someone mentioned was tabletop role-playing games like Dungeons and Dragons and just general board games. And I think that would be really fun to add some more of those. That'd be great for all ages, great for family get-togethers. I am down for that. They also mentioned a workout bike. Actually, we did get a survey. It was a health and fitness theme. I've brought it up many times on my channel, so I do think I could see us getting something like a Peloton. I personally am not super obsessed with it, but I do think that the current exercise equipment, even though we had a fitness pack, and even though we got a fitness kit, for some reason, the current fitness equipment just doesn't seem very interesting. So I could see some people really going for that. Someone also mentioned a bar for practicing ballet. I would love dance in general. So again, we're kind of getting out of the territory of just objects, but definitely understand that. A pool table. Why in the world do we not have a pool table? I was actually watching one of English Simmer's videos the other day, and she mentioned that we didn't have a pool table. And I was like, wow. That is really bizarre that we still don't have a pool table. So hopefully we will get one of those in the near time future. This next one though is a little bit controversial. Someone said they would like small pet objects. I'm assuming kind of like how my first pet stuff worked with the rodent. So kind of just like something you could sort of interact with. You know, in Sims 3 Pets, we had things like birds, reptiles, etc. But at this point, imagine the outrage in the community if they made a kit with small pets. Let me know in the comments below if you'd be okay with that or not. I would argue at least it wouldn't be a DLC for DLC, the way that my first pet stuff was. However, I do think that it would also start controversy, so it's kind of one of those sticky points. I suppose if they did do a farming pack, they could also add small pets into something like that. This next idea, though, has been done before in past Sims games, and I really like it, and it is a play stove or kitchen. It'd be fun, again, to just get some more items for kids that aren't that dang activity table, so I totally understand that. Might also do a video on a rant about how little kids and teens have to do in this game. And then finally, someone mentioned a really unique idea, and that was a scuba mask that kids could use in bathtubs, which I thought that was just really clever and really fun. The only ironic thing about that is getting a scuba mask in a new pack or a new kit or something like that. And we can't really do real scuba diving in island living, but let's just move on from there. And then we are going to go into our second to last category, and that is build by. Again, not tons of things for this. I personally think that build by is one of the bright notes of Sims 4, but that doesn't mean it can't be improved. Some of these items are a little bit more niche and a little bit more on the frivolous side, which is totally okay because I asked, what was some items that you think would be great in The Sims 4, but we don't necessarily need? So people cited, of course, more toddlers and more cribs. Again, this is something I do think The Sims team might do. They might do a, a baby kit. You guys know I'm not a fan of kits. I'm not advocating for this. I'm just telling you my personal opinion. No, I do not think they would add updated babies to the kit, but I could definitely see them adding some new items for babies in the kit. People wanted general clutter, so just everyday things. They said we don't have enough clutter in the game, and I've only done some mild building. I'm a terrible builder in the past, 
but I do think we could use a little bit more clutter, even though I'm not a super advocate of, of course, advocating for this over any other gameplay. Someone mentioned something really interesting, which was glass walls, not something I'd ever thought of. Doorbells, light switches and outlets, which I'm not really sure exactly what kind of gameplay you would get with that, but maybe you could at least get another way to kill your Sims off. A standing oscillating fan, windows with different colored frames from the inside and the outside, alarm clocks, and this kind of fits into the category, an ironing table. I really think though I wouldn't personally want that. I'm afraid that the Sims team would do a kit that's all about ironing because we already got one about vacuuming, but honestly, Sounds like something that might be popular for the community. Last but not least, this is what I call the old school category, and I am a big fan of this category. Someone mentioned landlines. Now, I know I sound like a grandma, but personally, I know a lot of people, not a lot of people, but I know some people that still have landlines, including my grandparents and actually my parents. So landlines I really would like because it could really represent older people and, you know, businesses still have landlines. I don't see why not. Why not add some landlines back in? I think it could be fun. Along with that, newspapers. Now, you guys are going to laugh at me, but I actually do get a physical newspaper delivered to me five times a week. So maybe I'm a little bit biased on this, but I think it could be really great. And especially if you're doing something like the Decades Challenge, it would just be nice to have some older, more retro items. Alongside that, we could also have some vinyl, some records, or some CDs. Heck, we could break in the cassettes. And then someone also mentioned a sewing machine, which I have somewhat of a problem with just because we already got nifty knitting. Not that a snow sewing machine is the same thing, but it's one of those, oh no, it could have been with nifty knitting. And finally, just to return us on the classics, someone mentioned the vibrating heart bed from Sims 1. Someone else mentioned a surfing machine from Sims 3. You know, just getting back some old items from Sims 1, Sims 2, and Sims 3. So that wraps it up on all the items that Sims Twitter wants to see come to The Sims 4 in 2021. I need to emphasize again, this was just for fun. What I care about far more than objects is that the gameplay is significantly improved in that we get some bug fixes, lag fixes, and some substantial updates to make our Sims have a bit more personality and have better relationships. But on the note, I'm gonna let you go. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you have any video requests and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.